Okay, so hello everyone. Welcome to the last part of our uh, lecture in advertising for midterms. So let's talk about uh, planning the television commercial. Okay, so in planning your television commercial, um, copywriters must plan what will they plan the length of the commercial you know when you advertise on television the longer your advertisement of course the more expensive it is diba? Uh, they have to plan also the shots in each uh, scene and they focus on the key visual and where and how to shoot the commercial for the scenes, okay, they have to segment um, the action that occurs in a single location. Uh, also, they have to focus on the key frames, okay, the visual that sticks in the minds of the viewers, okay. All right, so in planning your commercial, uh, there are different types of shots. If you uh, look at our shots here uh, in, in this example, so we have here your wide shot, okay? Oh, we also have here your medium shot. In your wide shot, it's more of like uh, all the background or um the background is seen in your medium shot okay they focus on the character but in your close-up more of uh focusing on a certain uh key visual or certain characteristic here okay so there so when you create your advertisement you have to plan either you're going to use a wide shot because you want to show your background or maybe you want to have a medium shot or maybe if you are advertising a facial product okay and you want to focus on the face maybe you have to use a close-up shot okay all right so it's also important that you uh you have a script and of course a storyboard so what is a script when we speak of a script this is a written version of your uh, commercials plan so it's prepared by the copywriter so you have to create a script when we speak the mind of your storyboard this is a visual plan or layout of the commercial which is basically prepared by the art director so this is an example of your storyboard so in the first scene what should be seen okay what should be there what should be present okay what are the dialogues that they will be saying in the first scene and so on and so forth and so you need to have a storyboard so you create a storyboard before you shoot a particular uh, advertisement or commercial you need to plan it first okay come up with your storyboard and how will you execute your story or your message okay moving on all right so we also have your uh, media planning and strategy okay let's take a look at media planning and strategy so first let's take a look at media terminologies so when we speak of your media planning uh it talks about a series of decisions okay involving the delivery of messages to audience oh sorry basically when we speak of your media planning this is also the process of selecting time and space in various media for advertising in order to accomplish a marketing objective so when you plan for your um, advertisement uh, you have to plan when will it be shown so if you want more audience to watch your advertisement perhaps you advertise your product during prime time um, uh, programs diba? however of course it's more expensive why kasi nga prime time mas marami ang nanonood that's why it's more expensive uh, we also have here our media objectives so decisions on how the media objectives can be attained all right and then we also have 
Okay. Our goals, media objectives, are goals to be attained by media strategy and programs. And then we have here also your media strategy. So various categories of delivery systems, including broadcast uh, and print media. So decisions on how media objectives can be attained. And we have media. When you speak of media, these are various categories of delivery system including the broadcast and print media okay uh, medium on the other hand is a series of decisions involving the delivery of messages to audience it is a carrier and deliverer of advertisement so it is also a specific category of carriers such as newspapers Okay, it's medium. Uh, the medium would be newspapers, television, okay, radio, World Wide Web, outdoor, or direct mail. It is a specific carrier within a media category. Examples of your media vehicle would be GMA, ABS-CBN, yeah, the Philippine Star, etc., etc. And then we have broadcast media. So, it's either radio or television network or local station broadcasts. Yan. We also have here print media. You're very familiar with print media. Okay. Uh -huh. And then, when you speak of reach, okay, we're talking about the number of different audience members exposed at least once in a given time period that is your reach coverage on the other hand uh, talks about potential audience that might receive the message through the vehicle okay frequency of course we're talking about the number of times the receiver is actually exposed to the media vehicle in specific period of time okay all right so we have here advertising space also so advertising space talks about the space in between a television uh, show where you see all the advertisements okay it is the pages of advertisement one sees in a magazine or newspaper so this is your advertising space okay we also have media advertising of course these are your media advertising uh, it includes television newspaper radio magazine etc all right so why do you need to have media planning so it says here without the media planning or without media planning advertisers would not know where to sell their products as well as what is the most effective media for their product okay so media planning basically helps identify the best okay advertising space so if you are planning or if your target customers would be the millennial it's not advisable for you to advertise on television perhaps why because majority of millennials nowadays do not watch television Diba? Um, but if your target market would be uh, taxi drivers, then oh, oh, your your uh, what's this media, um, or it's better for you to use radio because majority of taxi drivers would listen to radio. Diba? Okay. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the different types of media. Okay. So. Okay, traditional or mass media, we have, of course, um, radio, television. The idea here is to reach large audience. We also have here your niche media. So the idea here is to reach a certain uh, audience, a target audience with specific demographics. Okay, like for example, uh, you use cable TV because your target audience are tho those who can afford to pay, diba? So, yeah. Uh, direct mail also is another example of your niche media. And we have your non-conventional media. So, the idea here is narrowly defined 
target audience. Okay, your internet, your sales promotion, TV screens uh, in airport, walls in public toilet, something like that. So these are your non-conventional media. Okay. So who are media planners? Um, media planner or communication planner or brand planner or strategist is a job title in an advertising agency responsible for selecting media for advertisement placement on behalf of their clients. Okay, so the main aim of media planner is to assist their client in achieving business objectives through their advertising budgets by recommending the best possible use of various media platforms available for advertisers. Okay, so the role of media planners would include analyzing target audience. Of course, you have to keep abreast of the media developments. They need to read market trends and understand what motivates consumers moreover they have to devise a plan for advertising also okay and then um advertising media planners need the analytical competence of top financial officers and the creativity of senior art director and copywriter okay so not only must they know the media but also they have to conduct marketing research advertising okay they have to be creative because they they create the media uh, the the what's this advertisement um what else uh they need to plan okay and of course they have to know how to use the computer right there so media decisions to buy media and also to defend prove and justify the reasons for buying okay right so when we speak of your media plan uh it is a custom tailored designed expressly to meet the need of an advertiser at a given time for a specific marketing purposes so it's all about marketing research advertising consumer behavior creativity and sensitivity okay all right there they have to know their competitors they have to know their audience sorry and what else um what media are they going to use and why are they using that particular media okay and how many of their target audience will be exposed to their advertisement and how often will they be exposed to that particular advertisement okay so let's take a look at your media research okay so these are the sources of information we have your client market research competitive advertising media information and consumer information for your client information of course you have to know your target market okay what advertisement um have they been exposed to okay and what was the performance of the previous promotional uh, advertisement and you have to know also the product sales and distribution patterns the brand plans and of course the budget okay in your market research so market research is basically independently gathered information about the market and product categories for your competitive advertising okay we're talking about media planners making decisions based on the amount of competitive traffic okay so basically they measure the percentage of total advertising spending by one brand relative to the competition okay for media information so there are various media that provide uh information about the size and make up of their audience okay so consumer information on the other hand for media planners they have to use consumer information to locate the target audience within media markets so let's proceed now to your copywriting Okay, in terms of your effective advertising messages. 
so in your copywriting when we speak of copy these are text of an ad or words people say in commercial sorry okay so in copywriting there are four types of ads in which words are actually crucial so it's crucial if the message is complicated okay, if the message is complicated words are really crucial okay so that you can convey your message to the audience uh, effectively okay words are also crucial if the ad is for high involvement product when you say high involvement product um these are products wherein uh, customers um, would really, um, what's this, you know, involve themselves in choosing that particular product or um, like services, diba? Right? There is high involvement in terms of product, uh, uh, of customers. There is high involvement of customers to avail that service. Uh, information that needs definition definition and explanation if a message tries to convey abstract qualities so words are definitely crucial so copywriter is a person who shapes and sculpts the words or words in an ad okay so what should be the style of your advertising in terms of writing style so copy should be simple it should be very simple it's easily understood okay uh, should have a clear focus and try to convey only one selling point okay so every word counts space and time are actually expensive if you look at this advertisement here in our example it's as if they waste a lot of space diba? because they just simply write the same words yeah okay so here are some practical tips in write in the advertising writing style it has to be succinct Okay, it has to be clear. It has to be single-minded. There should be a particular goal. It has to be specific. You have to get personal. You need to have a focus. Okay, when you say controversial, it should grab the attention of your audience. You have to be original. Okay, it uses variety. And of course, use imaginative description so another important consideration in your advertising writing style would be the tone of your voice so you have to develop the right tone of voice wherein copywriters should think as if they are in a conversation so um you know if you write in all cups lock it's as if you are angry diba? so the tone of voice is how the character of your business comes through in your words so uh, it's not about what you say but rather the way you say it and of course the impression that you make on everyone who actually hears or read uh, what you've written Okay, so grammar is also very, very important. Um, you must know the rules of grammar and syntax when you speak of your syntax. Um, the way in which linguistic elements such as words are put together to form constituent. Like, for example, um, you know, it's a wrong syntax if you say, I saw that cookie she a cookie ate diba? something like that that's a wrong syntax diba? dapat sana i saw or uh, i saw the cookie that she ate something like that okay diba? that's a correct syntax um what else mm, we also have here your adc so it says here it's a uh, formulaic uh, advertising copy so this is a uh, formula writing wherein um it's actually a problem in 
uh, what's this in advertising writing style because it violates all the guidelines of writing an effective copy why because it's full of cliche yan kaya nga brag and boast copy it's full of superlatives yan stock phrases or maybe vague general uh, generalities okay so brag and boast is a form of a GC, which is um, a copy written from the company's viewpoint with a very, very arrogant tone. Yan. Okay. So, yon. This is an example of your, as I mentioned earlier, diba? Uh, wrong syntax. I saw that she, ah, sorry. Yung sinabi ko kanina na, uh, ano ba yun? I saw that she ate a co cookie. Ah, no. I saw that she a cookie ate. Diba? I saw that she a cookie ate. That is a wrong syntax. Supposed to be, diba? Um, I saw that she ate a cookie. Something like that. Or if you say, let's eat father, um, it's as if you're eating your father, diba? So, if you say, let's eat father, you're telling your father to eat. Okay, diba? All right. Um, so this is an example. Yeah. Okay. So um, in copywriting for a print, you have to take a look at your display copy. So elements that readers read in their initial scanning. So what should be displayed wherein it grabs the attention of the audience immediately. Your body copy are the elements that design to be read and, of course, to be absorbed. So, headline, on the other hand, are key elements in print advertising that conveys the main message. Uh, it could work with visual to get the attention and communicate creative concept. Okay, so how to write head headlines. So, these are some tips so it should attract your prospect must work with the combination of your visual okay to stop and grab uh, the reader's attention the headline must also identify the product and brand okay it should lead to the readers to read of course the body copy all right uh, you have to be wary also of your captions um, it has the second highest readership and serve an information function. So there should be subheads, sectional headlines, okay, used to break up a large block of copy. Taglines also. These are short, catchy, memorable phrases used at the end of an ad to complete creative idea okay slogans on the other hand are repeated from ad to ad to part uh, as part of your campaign or long-term brand identity and you have your slogan okay so here are some techniques in having your slogan so it uh, has a direct address it uh, addresses your uh, target audience okay your slogan should be directed to your audience uh, a startling or unexpected phrases okay it could be a rhyme there there should be a rhyme or rhythm or alliteration there there is parallel uh, construction cue for the product and of course with music okay so your body copy the text of the ad so the primary role is to maintain the interest of your reader there is a lead paragraph also there uh the first paragraph paragraph of your body copy and there should also be a closing paragraph which refers back to the creative concept and wraps up the big idea okay or it calls to action when you say calls to action if you are at, if you are advertising a product it's as if you are you know telling your audience to buy the product that you are advertising okay so we also have here your print media requirements uh, all media in the print category 
all use the same copy elements. So the way these media are used varies with the objective for using the medium. For newspapers, of course, um, you know, it's straightforward and it's very informative. The writing is, of course, brief. Okay, for magazines, of course, it has better quality. So ads can be more informative and carry longer copy for directories okay it uses a headline that focuses on service or store's personality uh, there is little space also for explanations okay for posters of course primarily it's very visual so you have to make sure that it's attention grabber okay words try to catch the consumer's attention and lock in ideas yeah and so an effective poster of course marries words with visual sorry and then we also have here product literature also known as your collateral so used in support of your ad campaign so typically it's a heavy copy format okay now let's proceed to your radio copy B. So, uh, it must be simple enough for consumers to grasp, but intriguing enough to prevent them from switching the station. So, the ability of listeners to remember facts is difficult. Therefore, you have to make sure okay, that your advertisement would be memorable. Um, there should be a theater of the mind wherein the story is visualized in the listener's imagination because they cannot see it they just simply visualize in their imagination okay so how to write your radio copy you have to be wary of your voice okay make use of voice that is pleasing to the ears music is also very important including the sound effects um there are radio guidelines here so you have to keep it personal speak to listeners interest wake up the inattentive make it memorable include call to action okay again when you speak of call to action um, an advertisement is not effective if you do not tell okay your customers to buy your product so if you notice advertisements diba parang at the end of the advertisement parang they will say what are you waiting for buy now something like that diba parang bili na kayo okay all right that is an example of your call to action and then it creates image transfer okay for your television copy Okay, moving action makes television so much more engaging than print. Okay, there is uh, moving pictures, diba. Right? So the challenge is to fuse the image with the words to present a creative concept and story. So storytelling is one way the copywriters can present actions or action in a television commercial more powerfully than in other media. Okay, so these are the tools of your television copywriting. We have your video, audio, voice, voiceover, off-camera, other TV tools. And the copywriter must describe all of these in your television script. So we have here your talents, the announcers, spokespersons, character, or type character types and of course celebrities okay so in planning your television commercial okay you have to think of your big idea okay what would be the benefit of your television commercial and how can you turn that benefit into a visual element that would gain the viewers interest and how will you focus on your key visual okay you have to be single-minded and observe rules of good editing so editing is really really important the the transformation of one scene to another should be seamless right? and then try of course to show the product 
in your web so web is more interactive so copywriters uh, challenged so copywriter challenged to attract people to the site and manage a dialogue based communication experience so interactive siya because your uh, customers can actually interact by providing comments something like that or maybe asking questions yeah your banner banners okay um has most effective form or is the most effective form of online advertising so there you go so web ads create aware awareness and interest in a product and build a brand image so it focuses on maintaining interest so these are other formats like games or pop-up windows sometimes it's annoying for us if we watch uh, the internet and there are pop-ups it's quite annoying but it's important for uh, you know products to advertise their their uh, brand Okay, so we also have daughter windows and side frames. Okay, so copywriting in a global environment. So language affects the creation of advertising. So standardizing a copy content by translating the appeal into the language of a foreign market is actually dangerous. So if you are advertising in a global market, okay, you have to be very worried of your language. Okay, uh, sometimes when you say something, it might be different when they translate to their own language. So you have to be very, very careful. So use bilingual copywriters who can capture the essence of the message in the second language. Okay. All right. So that ends our midterms. Thank you so much for listening.